Hey folks, Dana here, back in my incredibly messy shop. Uh, as I mentioned in the end of my last video, I'm going to tackle this big piece of yellow birch this time. Um, I got it squeezed up in the vise, pretty much maxed out the vise. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and make a crook, I think, depending on what I find inside here. Um, this log is one I cut about three years ago, hoping it's dry enough, should be, but it's, um, got some really nice color to the back, I'm going to do some trimming of branches, obviously, and I've been picking off some of the loose, loose bark. And set, I'll set that aside for future use in case I have to uh, repair a cane at some point. It's got a lot of lichens growing on it, so but those will go away when I when I cut when I cut the um, I'm gonna cut it about there, and then I'll slab the sides off. I'll probably cut it I don't know hereish. So, that's going to take a while. So, I'll be back. Well, it took a few minutes. I uh, ended up going a little bit of uh, power cutting instead. My uh, little handsaw just wasn't up to it. And, uh, looks like there's some decent color in there. I know in a previous stick made from the same tree, uh, the heartwood was really nicely colored had some really dark coloration and fantastic grain in it so so anyways next thing I'll slab off the two sides and see what I've got Now I've scribed a couple of lines across the top and down that side showing where I'm going to cut those sides. I'll have to redo this one because I think the next cut I'm going to make is right about there. Take that front half off. It's got plenty of meat right in through here to make a nice, nice handle. So I'm going to go just this side of the pith, I think. I can always take off more, but once it's gone, it'd be tricky to put back on, so. Well, I've got our slab, the front part of it slabbed off. Redrew the lines using a red marker. I don't really quite like the way the, they were lined up on the green there, so. Uh, do a little more slicing. Well, I obviously missed the line a little bit, cutting, <laughs> cutting that side. That's all right. At least I'm on the right side of the line. I can always peel more of that off. Um, this side is the more important one, really, in this stick because of the way the wood is kind of twisted to one side. Um, so it's going to be trickier to cut that, and I think I'm going to leave that till tomorrow or whenever. Using that power saw has um, basically put my hand to sleep, so I'll be back. Well, it's the next day. Uh, luckily, no cracks, so I guess it was dry enough. Uh, I've been cutting that last slab off. Um, and now I'm waiting for the the feeling coming back into my hand. That vibration just kills my carpal tunnel. And while I'm waiting, I might I had a there was a branch that came off here. I cut it off and then filed it. And rather than um, just polyurethane it as is, I think I'm going to cover that with some of the bark that I pulled off the um, 
the offcut um, just to cover that up. That's kind of a big, big spot. Oh, lovely. It started raining again. Uh, hmm. Oh, well. Um, but I'll, I'll come back once I've slapped a little back on there. Well, I got her glued on, hopefully, anyways. And I got a, a sanding belt wrapped around it with a clamp to uh, put pressure on it while it sets. So hopefully that'll that'll look decent. Uh, might need another layer after I sand it down a little bit, but that should come out nice. Well, there she goes. Uh, see some nice coloring in there. Hopefully that uh, will be uh, through the entire piece. But so I'm gonna still haven't quite decided if I want to do a crook or a cardigan. If I do a crook, I'll thin this down. It'll come up around like that, and then curl around probably. Or a cardigan, I'll still have to thin that down, but it'll come to about there, and have slightly curved end. So, but it's coming. Uh, got a pair away on this side, so I'm probably going to use the belt sander for that. So I'll come back and so you can see how it's. Well, I was. Uh, Riding away on that, I noticed there was another spot on the back here that I'd filed down and had a pretty good size uh, blank spot, so I went ahead and glued up some more back onto that. Hopefully that'll look fine. That's the original patch. I'm going to call it good for today, because every time I grab the stick, it seems like I grab it right by that glued spot. But I've been uh, s smoothing down some of the other knots. That well, one's pretty good size. It might cover that one. But the smaller ones I won't bother. You kind of expect to find a few knots on a tree. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, let that dry up in good shape. Well, it's the next day, and checking that patch didn't stick. Uh, that one looks pretty good, so I'll just redo that one, maybe with some uh, super glue instead. Uh, trimmed a little bit off there, and did a couple of sketches of possibilities. Uh, I could do a turned nose, where it comes back on itself, and then a thistle flower, or I could do a ram's head. Um, I've done both on previous sticks. I'll pop a picture of those in and you can see. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to need to take that down some there too. That's just way too, even if I take quite a bit off in the center, that's just way too big. So I hate to lose all that back, but I think I'm going to have to. So, But I'll come back and we'll take another peek. Well, I got some shaping done. Uh, I did quite a bit on the belt sander. I'm doing some more with the rasp. Uh, still haven't quite decided about this. Um, could do both. Um, I think my hands have pretty much had it for today. Got that peeled down. So that's nowhere near as big. Once, once I get that carved in, it'll be nice and comfy. Um, also been taking a little time sanding the back on here just to get rid of some of the dirt and lichens. Yeah, she's really coming on pretty nice. I'll be back at some point tomorrow, probably. Well, it's the next day. Uh, 
got thinking about it. I think I'm going to go with just the thistle. Um, if I put a ram's head on there too, it's going to be a little too busy, I think. Plus it'll affect, each one will affect the ability to get into the, some of the spots I need to for carving. So I think I'm going to go with something like this. Might not be exact, but uh, so yeah, I'm going to cut that down there and that up around there. And I'll probably drill some holes here and one there right through it. But yeah, it's coming, it's coming along. Well, I've got some of it cut off. Um, that's some of the color I was talking about earlier. That was running down the center of the piece. That's really cool. I may have to try to keep that. Well, I've scribed a couple of lines down. That's more or less what I'm shooting for as far as width on the end. That'll give me enough meat to make the um, the flower, the, uh, that part of the thistle flower, and then the, the purple part up here. So, yeah, I'm going to keep whittling away at it. Well, done quite a bit of shaping on it. Um, got some holes drilled through where the um, nose will turn and then the thistle will be on top of it. Um, but it's coming pretty good. Ran into a bit of a knot hole there, which made it a little tricky drilling. But, um, found a cool little feature there. I'll try to keep that. And I did a little sanding right here and smoothing up. Hopefully you can see. That's got some really good grain in it. One of the things that's been a bit of a problem is rising grain in this this area right here because it the way the thing grew this was the trunk of the tree the branch came out like that and then a sucker off that branch started right there I think that was the original branch it died for whatever reason and then a sucker came off of it and formed this new shank so I was kind of I was kind of worried about what I was going to find for grain in here. That would be a weak place with some short grain. But because of the way it grew, I'm thinking I'm probably in pretty good shape. Because the tree itself was, oh, I'm going to say like six inches in diameter there. And this was approximately three. So you figure the tree was maybe four when that branch broke off and died. So I'm thinking the grain should be okay. Ideally, oops, on a uh, one-piece crook or uh, or a cardigan or a market stick, whichever you're making, the branch really should come off the trunk of the tree at like a 45 degree angle. Um, that gives you some cross grain strength where it would join the handle. This one unfortunately came off at like a 90 degree angle but like I was saying because it was quite a bit smaller I think there's some remnants of that branch still in here which will give it some strength. At least that's my theory. <laughs> um, we'll probably find some signs in the grain as I get it uh, peeled down. So, but, but yeah, she's coming along pretty good. Well, I've been doing some shaping, and it's looking pretty sweet. Still kind of big in here, but I think that's really not much I can do about that because it's gonna lose too much of the back and I really want to keep as much of that as I can and I did a little a little bit of statting carving on the on the thistle I'm gonna take it inside and I'll I'll redraw my lines so they're a little a little better but uh, yeah she's coming out really nice managed to keep a little bit of that 
feature I found earlier. Now you can see coming across some really nice grain in it. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Coming along. Uh, Got to get some more super glue and I guess I ran out so I'll have to get some tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this one so far. Well, this side is looking really good. I don't know if, hopefully that's focusing enough. You can see some really cool grain in it. Got some stubborn grain right there. just rises right up out of there and just will not sand. But got a little bottle of alcohol, uh, denatured alcohol. I'm going to pour a little dab on there and you can... Give an idea of, oops, I guess that's more than just a little dab. So yeah, you can give an idea of what the grain's going to look like when the finish is on. But that's going to look really cool. Okay, well, I think that's going to be good for today. Uh, hand's going to sleep on me again, so I'll be back tomorrow. Well, I've done some more work on the shaping coming along really nicely. Um, I took it inside after I'd given it a bit of a sanding and circled some areas. I think you can probably see that. That uh, need a little more attention. Uh, that's the way I usually do things. Give it a good sanding and then that shows up any tool marks that I've missed. But uh, yeah along really well. The only problem with it is it's still a really heavy stick. Um, it's still pretty good size diameter right there. Uh, there's two possible solutions. I could cut it off there and put it on a different shank which I'd hate to do because I wanted it to be a one-piece stick or I could take the spoke shave and take the diameter down the whole length of it which I don't want to do because that birch back the yellow birch back is really nice has got some great color to it and uh, that's one of the reasons why I work with yellow birches because the back looks so good when it's got finish on it but yeah I'll probably just leave it as is and when I eventually get around to putting it on my Etsy site I'll just add a note saying this is a heavy stick be be prepared it's uh, it's probably gonna be have to be for a larger gentleman who could heft it for any amount of time. But, yeah. So I'm going to take the file and work on those those spots that I've circled. And uh, I'll come back. Well, I've got most of the ones on the outside of the curve done. There's a really nice grain in there. Um inside of the curve is always the trickiest part because it's just hard to get to and uh, it, uh, the, the file kind of you can't use the flat side of it of course because it digs in and makes more tool marks um, so basically I put the the round file in there and Kind of, kind of try to skate over the high spots until it comes down to the low spot. But, but yeah, she's looking really good. Well, I finally remembered to get some more glue. Did that other bare spot. It's, uh, it's pretty good now. Once the finish is on it, you're probably not even going to be able to see it. Got her sanded up. Got the carving done on it. Um, 
turned out pretty good. Um, not perfect, but hey, it looks pretty good to me. Um, debated whether or not I should color the thistle. I did on the last one, and it looked all right, but really, I think I really want the wood to show on this one. So I'm going to call it good and go hit it with a little polyurethane. Well, it's had a good blast of polyurethane, and that looks sweet. That green is looking fantastic. Some nice color in the thistle. Obviously, it's going to need a, a sanding and another coat or two. But And the sun's almost kind of out, and you can see how well that polyurethane looks on the yellow birch back, which is why I really didn't want to strip the thing. But, uh, yeah, real happy with that. So, 